If you have a PDF that you want to convert to a Word document, you can do this with Adobe Acrobat if you're a paid subscriber. And I am because I subscribe to the entire Creative Cloud, so I get that with my cloud subscription. Um, so I'm going to show you how to convert a PDF to Word, uh, what to look out for, and then how to save it again as a PDF once you've changed it. So let's get started. OK, so here I have the PDF that I want to convert to Word. I'm not going to open it yet. I'm going to right click and then open with Adobe Acrobat. You want to make sure you're opening with the right thing. So that's just the first step. And I'm already signed into Ac uh, to Acrobat. If you're not signed in, you got to do that to get this menu, your all tools menu right here. So that's going to be what you need. Um, and then you're going to go to export a PDF and you're going to switch to Microsoft Word. Very cool, right? We have a lot of different options here. Microsoft Word's what we want. So then I'm going to convert it to a document. And when I hit that, it's showing me where it's going to export to, where I'm going to find my uh, Word document. It's going to go into my downloads folder. If you want to save it into a different folder, you would just navigate to it there. And then I'm going to just double click. Uh, that's good. Save. OK. And right off the bat, it will open up the Word document for me. If you, yours does not open up, you can just go to where you saved it and double click. Now, I don't have a paid version of Word, but I can still edit. Um, so you don't have to have a paid version, but you do have to save it to your OneDrive. So I'm just going to save to my OneDrive by clicking on this upper uh, little prompt here, and then I'm just going to hit save. OK, now I can make some edits and you'll notice right away that the Word document looks different from the PDF. I'm trying to get them both in screen for you so you can compare. Um, the PDF has much lighter text color here. We're seeing a dark gray and then on the PDF it's white. Um, and that is just because there are color differences in color management between the two programs and they interpret color differently. So unfortunately, it's a little bit inconvenient to edit it um, in this darker color, but whatever I change and then resave as a PDF will open in the correct color. So don't worry too much if your colors are off. You can still edit the text itself and then resave it, and it should look right when you open it again as a PDF. So I'm just going to change, maybe I'm going to change the name Michael Brown to Jane Smith. Oh. just for the example. OK, and now I'm going to resave it as a PDF. So I'm going to go to File, Export, Create PDF. And you can just save it however you're used to saving PDFs. I'm going to put it in my Downloads folder, call it Example 2, Publish. And then now it has immediately opened up the Jane Smith document. And as you can see, the colors are actually correct. I was able to change the wording, resave it. Everything looks good, even though it looks a little bit off in Word. Saves well. And then if I just open up my downloads, I can see that it's there. And just to double check, I can reopen it. Perfect. Yep. So that's it. That's how you edit a PDF as a Word document. This is super useful. Um, if you don't have the Word document, but you do have a PDF and you need to make changes, it is possible with Acrobat and I am thankful for it. So if you found this helpful, please check out my um, tutorial playlist in Acrobat. And I have a lot of other stuff too. If you like uh, CGI related content, I've got videos on videos. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.